morning, everybody. Welcome back to Granny's Place. We're going to read a story today called The Four Little Kittens. Can you see them? One, two, three, four. Once upon a time, four kittens were born in a corner of a barn. I wonder what kind of cats they'll grow up to be, thought the mother cat. She licked her four new babies proudly. They were still tiny. Their eyes were sealed shut and they could only mew and snuggle close to their mother's warm side. In a few days, the kittens opened their eyes each day they grew a little bigger and a little stronger and a great deal naughtier, thought Mother Cat as they pounced on her twitchy tail. Children, she said one day, the time has come for you to decide what kind of cats you will be. Tell us, tell us, mewed the kittens, what kind of cats there are. The mother cat sat up straight and half closed her green eyes. And then she said, there are alley cats. An alley cat is long and lean. He slinks like a shadow, sleeps where he can, eats what he finds. A free cat is he, no manners to mind, no washing of paws, no sheathing of claws. He does what he likes and nobody knows but he. Your Uncle Tom is like an alley cat. Many friends he has and they make fine music at night to the moon. His enemies are stray dogs and turning wheels and cold sleety rain. He's a wild and clever cat the alley cat. This is the life for me, said Tuff, the biggest kitten. And off he went to be an alley cat, like bold Uncle Tom. Now, Uncle Tar was a ship's cat, Mother Cat said. A splendid cat he was, with a ship for a home, and sailors for friends. A ship's cat visits seaports a thousand miles away and talks to foreign cats and chases foreign rats that try to come aboard. A brave cat he is, a jolly roving cat, a ship's cat. And many are the tales your Uncle Tar could tell this is the life for me, said Luff, the second kitten. And off he went to be a ship's cat, like jolly Uncle Tar. And of course, said Mother Cat, there are farm cats. I am a farm cat, a useful cat. I catch the mice and chase the rats while the farmer sleeps at night. I live in the barn on a bed of straw. No house cat am I. A farm cat can talk to all the animals that live on the farm. A splendid, useful, strong cat is the farm cat. So I say it myself. This is the life for me, said Ruff, the third kitten. And off he went to be a farm cat like his mother. Mother cat purred. Now, the smallest, youngest kitten was called Muff. Muff was gentle and playful and pretty and always kept her white paws clean. Muff's mother sighed and said, Muff, I don't think you're an alley cat. I don't think you're a ship's cat or even a farm cat. I don't know what kind of cat you are. 
and off went Mother Cat to catch a nice fat mouse for dinner. Sadly, Muff wandered out of the barn. She caught sight of Ruff getting ready to spring on a great big rat. Muff shivered and crept by as quite quietly as she could. I couldn't be a farm cat, said Muff, because I'm afraid of big rats. Muff wandered out of the farm and down to the village. She saw plump little Tuff doing his best to look lean and wild like an alley cat. Woof, woof, barked a little stray dog, and Tuff arched his back and bristled his fur and spat and hissed in his best alley cat way. The little dog ran away and so did Muff. Down to the river she ran and she saw Luff on a big ship in the harbor. The sailors were busy with ropes and things but already Luff had curled up in a place where he wouldn't be in the way. Soon Luff would be visiting cats a thousand miles away, just like Uncle Tar. Muff waved goodbye. I wish I knew what kind of cat I am, she sighed. Then she had to run out of the way as a big bicycle came by. It began to rain and Muff got cold and wet. She didn't like that at all, and she shook her wet paws crossly. She lay down to sleep on a lumpy pile of sacks, and she didn't like that very much either. She was cold and hungry and cross, and when a big hand picked her up, she spat and hissed for all the world like an alley cat. The big hand put her into a big warm pocket. And after a few more angry squawks and a sad little mew, Muff fell asleep. When next she opened her eyes, Muff was in a house. There were cushions and carpets and curtains and a warm, crackling fire. There was a little girl with soft, gentle hands. <gasps> what a lovely kitten, said the little girl. Oh, I wanted a kitten so much. Now I won't be lonely anymore. The little girl gave Muff a saucer of milk. Muff drank it all with one white foot in the saucer to keep it steady. Then she washed her paw and licked her whiskers. This was much better than fat mice for dinner. The little girl played with Muff. She dangled a string and Muff jumped and pounced in her prettiest way and the little girl laughed with delight. Muff purred. This was much better than running away from barking dogs and turning wheels. The little girl lifted Muff onto her warm lap and stroked Muff's fur. Oh, it's nice to have a kitten, said the little girl happily. Muff purred loudly. This was much better than a pile of lumpy sacks to sleep on, or even a bed of straw. This is the best place for me, purred Muff. I know what kind of cat I am at last. I am a cushion and cream cat, a purring cat, a cuddlesome cat, a playful cat, a little girl's cat. I am a house cat. And so all four kittens lived happily ever after. Tuff in his alley because he was an alley cat. Ruff on the farm because he was a farm cat. Luff was on the ship because he was a ship's cat. And Muff on her cushion in her house 
with a little girl because she was a house cat. I hope you like the four little kittens story. This was one of my favorites when I was a little girl. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and we'll be back soon with some more stories.